I am afraid that this episode is going to be a little bit more simple than what you're used to because we are building our new YouTube studio. We were at Ikea the other day getting some furniture and we actually spotted this. It's called the Jans Joe. It's a USB powered gooseneck LED and it only costs two quid. So we're going to figure out just how many ways you can use this to make films. Welcome to the film look. These types of lights are meant for lighting up a laptop keyboard if you're typing away at night. Can we class this as filmmaking, writing, maybe? The Power Junkie is a battery solution we use for powering the Sony A7S because the standard battery only lasts 40 minutes at best. The Power Junkie converts your battery into an NPF solution, giving you more battery life for a longer shoot. We did a review of the Blind Spot Power Junkie. If you want to find out more, click right here. The Power Junkie includes USB ports as well, which means you can plug in the Jans Jaw light at the same time the MPF battery is powering the camera and use it to light up hard to find microphone and headphone ports, as well as rigging up a follow focus when you are working in the dark. This saves another person holding onto a light or jamming one in your mouth. If you don't have a Power Junkie, you can always use something like a USB power bank and secure it to your camera, preferably onto a cage. It will do a similar job in terms of instant plug-in power for a work light on your camera. But can you actually use the Jans Jaw light as a production light when making films? It's a bit of a ridiculous test, but we thought we may as well try to see if you can use this as any sort of key light on a subject. The Jans Jaw light is 10 lumens and 0.3 watts, so it's not very bright. But we tested it in a dark room and it actually didn't do too bad. Obviously, we are shooting on the Sony A7S, which is known for being a beastie low light camera, but the settings were certainly not out the realm of shooting. Surprisingly, you can actually use this as a key. Next, we tested it to see if we could use it as a makeshift eye light when the subject's eyes have no natural eye light. From these results, it didn't work too well. The Jans Joe is only 10 lumens, so it doesn't really pump out enough light to be a dedicated eye light and it's not really long enough to get in a good position because of the gooseneck. We've had projects in the past where we just need a tiny little light source in the background to generate some bokeh balls, really just to give the background some light. Together with USB power, such as the Power Junkie, we were able to pop the light in the background and give it a bit more energy. With some colour gels, it's easy enough to change the colour of the Jan's Jaw light in the background for the bokeh. You can actually get a 10 pound version of this that is wired and it's actually 88 lumens, whereas this is only 10. So if you're gonna use this as a background bokeh light, it might be worth getting in the one that plugs straight into the wall. It is a pretty cool looking light, so you can actually use it as a prop. Here we've set up a bomb defusal scene. So just get imaginative. Ah! What it's actually perfect for is plugging into the back of your PC when you're swapping out ports and plugging things in. As it's only £2, I would just plug this into a spare USB socket and just leave it there. For £2, this isn't too bad of a light. The only downside it really has is the fact that it doesn't have an on-off switch. So if you did have this plugged onto your camera, it would be on all the time. If they had some sort of like spinny thing here or a button here, I definitely would keep this on my camera rig 24-7. Let me know in the comments below if you would use this for any other things or if this is just an absolute waste of time. And remember, achieve it one shot at a time.